Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. Today I am going to discuss a very important and serious topic regarding securing your router's login page. Many times in a small and medium companies I have found that uh, the company do not secure their login page. Keeping it in a default setting may lead uh, to a misconfiguration or a downtime. Uh, recently in a company one of the employee logged in with the default username and password and he tried to change the configuration and internet was down for few hours. So it is very important to secure your router's login page so that your users or employee cannot log into your router and the administrator should have the right to log into the page from inside or outside the organization. So let's see how we can perform this. So right now I am on a server that is a DC and let's go to the Active Directory. I have a company PCs like uh, the computer you want to block the access to the router page you can create a OU organization unit and put all the computer in this list that means like uh, if you have 50 computers or you have a uh, 40 computers you can put all the computers here and after that we will put a group policy we will apply a group policy on this so that uh, the router page will be blocked for these computers so whosoever is sitting on those computer will have a restriction on that router login page so let's go to the group policy and you can see the company PC here and let's create a new policy here create a GPO in this domain and link here so I'll give the name as blocking router page click on OK so now it's there and we will edit this one so the policy will be applying on the company PCs only so we will go to the computer configuration policies and windows settings let me maximize it after going to the windows settings you can go to the security settings and for look for the advanced firewall settings here it is windows firewall with advanced security expand this and you will see inbound outbound rules and connection security rules so let's go to the windows firewall with advanced setting and set the windows firewall properties right now it says that not configured you can just do it on recommended that means the firewall will be turned on on all the, the client computers and inbound settings you can put as block default and outbound allow default so apply ok and after that we will create a new outbound rule for the restriction for our router page so let's create a new outbound rule program port uh, we are going to block the port 80 so let's see the TCP UDP that is specific port is 80 and let's do 443 as well and click on next we want to block this connection block the connection so next domain private public I will do uh, for domain and private this time and click on next and will give the name as router page restriction and click on finish here you have the router page restriction go to the properties go to the scope and the local IP address that means if you see if you select the any IP address that means all the local IP address will not be able to log in but uh, we want the administrator to log in there so what we can do if you have a DHCP server signed in your organization and you have a range set uh, for the clients you can type that range for example you have a range from 5 to 50 so you can uh, set the range here like this th add the range like 192.168.2.5 to 192.168.2.5 to 
50. Now these 45 computers will not be able to access the router page but the administrator should have a different IP from uh, these IP like if administrator have the IP address 421 or from uh, after 50 like 51, 52 he or she can access the router page but the client computer cannot access the page neither they cannot change the IP address of their computer so let's click on OK and the remote IP that means the which IP that the destination IP the destination IP is our router page that is our 192.168.2.1 and let's click on OK if you see the uh, default gateway of my computer you will see the router page is that means here it's a default gateway that means we can open router login page from this IP so we want to restrict this IP so let's close it and we'll click on apply okay now a rule has been set let me update it with the GP update and once the policy is updated and applied to the computer that means we are all set and let's go to the, our client computer I will just restart the client computer once if we go to the client computer and let me try to log in with the user ok administrator let's try to first open the router page and let's see right now if we are able to open it or not you can see here we are able to open it if I go to the advance and accept that means it's opening right now so we have to restrict this page so let me close it and I'll restart it once because on a restart I hope the policy will be applied and by the meantime I will do it once again like GP update I will do it once again this time I will do it as a force and the client machine is restarting now now the client machine has been restarted and let me quickly log in with credentials so now we are logged in and let's try to open the router page again let me try to access the page by 192.168.2.1 enter see now we don't have an option to get connected with the router that means now we don't have uh, any option to put the username or password by hit and trial or any method so we are not providing anything to the user like if he can find the gateway from here and he, he tries to log in is there he cannot log in it if we do HTTPS still the page is not loading but if he want to open something on internet yes the internet is working but uh, the administrator want to open the page like if you see the range of this is its a IP address of this computer is 8 like we have set it from 5 to 50 and the range of this computer IP is it belongs to 20 that means it come inside that range and the IP the 20 is in a block range so the it is blocked on it but if administrator want to open it you can see if I go to the computer and I have an IP address of 192.168.2.4 and if I open the Internet Explorer and I do 192 this is a router page if I do it's on HTTPS if I click on there I can open the router by this you can try to block the access of a router page on any router with the Windows Server firewall and now uh, I am on the router what you can do in the firewall settings you can enable if you are using this uh, Cisco RV042 you can enable this HTTPS for uh, for security and for the remote management I have a public IP on this router uh, from inside the administrator can open it on the different IP as I sh showed you like on a this is a IP 
4 and this is not in a block range so we are able to open it so administrator have to decide that uh, from which IP he has to open it he can uh, manage his computer with the static IP and he can open the uh, page and for remote management like I have a public IP I have set the port number here like 4438 that means it will work as a pin number uh, though it's a port number but whenever I will put the public IP with HTTPS because uh, someone w without doing it with the HTTPS cannot open the page he has to put HTTPS on it and while the putting HTTPS public IP still the page is not going to open until or unless it open it with this in order to open it from the internet we have to put address like this HTTPS your public IP for example 67.5.34.2 colon 4438 from the outside like from the internet you can open the open your URL of the login page of your router by going to the this URL like HTTPS your public IP colon and port number without port number it's not going to open. The administrator knows the public IP address and the port number he can open. If anyone knows the public IP address but he do not know the port number he is still not able to open it. That means only the only administrator now can open the router login page and all the user inside the company will not able to open the login page but they will be able to access the internet. So guys as a security measure do not use the basic and cheap router for your business purpose and keep your router login secure. I hope you found the video informative. Please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming and interesting videos. Thank you for watching.